Hello and welcome back to Niku Yishi. In the last episode, Liao was left disheveled as Leopard Cat has had left him, apparently for no reason, saying that he was going to prepare something or other for Liao to see. And as Leopard Cat didn't come back, Liao asked Tiger, his guardian Tiger, to use his spiritual contacts in Taipei to ask around. But Tiger's mission took a while and Yao was left alone with Leopard Cat. Let's continue. The next morning I go out to get breakfast. I come home to find Tiger waiting for me. Liao. Tiger, you're back! Very much so. It was an exhausting task, but I'm back. It's like this. Most likely that kitten is currently visiting the home time of the human he's possessing. His hometown? Yes, even Clairvoyant wasn't able to find his footprints. It appears the house he's residing in has a strong barrier. I was unable to locate a way to see inside or hear anything. What? What do you mean this barrier? I cannot tell you. I queried, er I queried everyone I saw but couldn't find much of anything. Eventually I did find a witness but all they could tell me was that he went inside a mansion in Kilung. Liao, can you think of anything odd surrounding his situation at home? Uh, no, he never told me anything about it. I don't think he was on really good terms with his family though. But a mansion? I always figured Senpai's family would be pretty normal. It's not like he eats and dresses like he's wealthy. Even then, why would they have a barrier? There are many possibilities as to why a barrier would be present. Mayhap due to a powerful person living there, a god or even a Yao Guai guarding the premises. If it were not his home, I would doubt that he would go there. I, I just don't know. Why wouldn't we be able to contact him at all if he was just at home? Who could say? As far as I have gathered, he went in there himself. He wasn't kidnapped or anything. But then why won't he answer my phone calls? He hasn't said anything and he told me he was going to come back. Could his family have found out that Senpai was being possessed by Guardian Tiger? Even if so, it's his own problem. Don't be like that. It could be really bad. Their property does have a barrier, so it's not too much of a leap to assume his family might be able to force him out of Yansuji's body. If that were to occur, Yansuji would probably not come back here. That doesn't change the fact that he's my senpai. Even if he's returned to his old self, he's, he'd call me back. Whatever the reason is, it's not a problem. He is in his home. Even if the kitten is forced out of that body, he is still not in any danger. As such, there is no need for you to worry. But this is all so weird. We just need to wait for Kitten to come calling. If he's driven out, people wouldn't kill a Guardian Tiger. Now that's done with. All that's important is focusing on your studies. Uh. Well, we kind of have to... Going on this path, we asked Tiger to help us search for him. So I think we should... We should really make sure that he is okay. I still... I know. You can never really let something go when you, until you see it with your own eyes. <sighs> Sorry. As I said, the, that place has a barrier. If you really must, I suggest you just call them. On the phone? Yes. Call the house. Isn't that just a bit forward of me? What else do you propose? Knocking on their door? I guess not, but I thought... A bus ride to Keelong would be fairly out of the way from here. What if Senpai needs help? Help with what? I don't see a mischievous kitten like him falling into any traps. Even if the family did find him out, they'd most likely just force him to leave. After all, they wouldn't kill a guardian tiger. If that happened, the real Senpai would still call me back. Didn't he say his powers were fading? What if they ran out? I can't help but think back to that day. Senpai was running away from that spirit that came to me in the fog. Senpai's chief god is losing power. If he's too weak to stand for himself, Senpai will be defenseless. Even though we took a bunch of tongue flowers home that day, almost all of them were crushed by the time we got home. 
Later I found that somehow a single flower had survived intact through the ordeal. Now that one tongue flower floats now that one tongue flower floats serenely on my bookshelf, reminding me of what Senpai went through that day. I have to make sure he's okay. If there's nothing to be done to stop you if there's nothing to be done to stop you, then at least allow me to accompany you. Yeah, uh, of course. Leopard, you should come at way as well. Or do you not worry about Liao's safety? <laughs> it just slides in like completely blank stare. I do. Then we must go shoot then if we must go, we should hurry. Let's go. Tiger pats me on the back as I put his statue in my bag, take my phone and set off out the door. Following Tiger's directions, we arrive at a park near Senpai's house in Kilung. Okay, Liao, please wait for us here. Uh huh? W wait for you? What? Uh, am I not allowed to come? What? Will you charge right into his house? At the very least, it's rude and could even be dangerous, honestly. We can handle this. But, but. Uh... You yourself are unable to fight. You c I couldn't just, list, just let you waltz in there. Now that you have brought my statue here, you may leave the rest up to us. As much as it troubles me, this is more what we must do. <laughs> and of course, Leopard doesn't know. Leopard. Nope, sorry about that, that was my phone. Leopard, you have the ability to make things levitate, correct? Yes. Then would you be able to levitate my statue into the mansion? Yes. This should do. Tiger turns, his, turns back to face me. Yao, I know how much you worry about others, but I also worry about you. That place may be dangerous, so please, help us by waiting here. Alright. But... No matter what, I won't let you put yourself in danger. You're close enough as it stands. Now then, Leopard, let's proceed. Yes. But... but... Suddenly, the Guardian Tiger statue is floating in front of me. I didn't, really, didn't even realize that my backpack was open. Th that's too obvious! Leopard, please levitate it closer to the ground. Okay. I mean, how high were they going with that? Everything was out of my hands as I stood there in the park, waiting nervously for Tiger to set his plan in motion. So they didn't really need me after all. I mean... At least I had to bring Tiger's statue. There's no way Leopard could have brought it all the way here. Maybe I should go find a hiding place. I am pretty close to the, his house, after all. How dangerous could it be to waltz up to Senpai's house anyway? Considering how weak I am, I wouldn't place any bets on it. I wish I wasn't just a normal person, that I could be stronger somehow. Hey, kiddo! What you doing out here? Huh? Raku? What are you doing here? I came to see you, kiddo. See me? Didn't you know the rumors about you going to save your boyfriend are spreading like wildfire? To save my boyfriend? That, that's not how it is. <laughs> Didn't you ask your family's guardian tigers to go find that boyfriend of yours? He used a bunch of contracts and resources to make that happen. It'd be hard for word not to get out. And now he's charging in there to rescue the one you care so much about? You can't expect me to believe he's just a noble friend of yours now, can you? But I... I was just worried about Senpai. Ah, no matter what you say, kiddo, everyone already thinks he's your boyfriend. But he's not. <laughs> I got it, I got it. That other boyfriend of yours thought you might get bored on your own, so he asked me to come and wait with you. Other boyfriend? Yep, they cared so much about you that they were willing to call in a mountain of favors just for you. If that's not dedication of a boyfriend, I don't know what is. Now you're just trying to rile me up. Well, if they aren't your boyfriend, now where are they? You obedient dog? That's just disrespectful. Please stop talking already. Ah, don't be like that. He asked me to, to look after you. Couldn't possibly do so without talking to you. Can you look after me without talking? The, well, that's not my idea of looking after someone, but yeah, sure. I'll keep silent if that's what you want, kiddo. Ah, uh, whatever. Annoyed, I decide to go sit down somewhere in the park and watch Ragu, who just stands before me absent-mindedly entertaining himself. 
After a while, the silence gets to me and I just end up bored out of my mind. He's not that bad. I should at least try to talk to him. Eventually, I muster up the courage to start speaking to him again. As much as Raghu likes to tease me, he's really a great guy. Once we started talking, it feels like the next two hours pass in an instant. Oh, hey, look! My gaze is drawn to the far corner of the park where I see none other than Senpai himself come out from behind the bushes. Hey, Yao! Senpai! Yao, long time no see! Senpai runs over to me. Since Raghu is watching, I hold him back from pouncing onto me as much as I didn't want to. Senpai, what happened to you? I've been trying to call you for days. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think things would end up like this. At first, I just came around to grab my stuff, but my family ended up keeping me locked up because, well, I think. They don't accept that I'm gay. I've tried to object, but no matter what, after college, I'm going to marry whoever they arrange for me. Somehow, they heard about us. They're trying to force me to cut off all ties to you. So it's all because of me? No, 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 it's not you, it's because of me. It's my fault for letting the rumors spread about us at the, at the dance club. I never thought my family would react like this. They took both my phone and my computer, so I really couldn't get in touch with you. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it's not your fault. You shouldn't blame yourself. Anyway, thank you, Liao. You came here so far just to find me. Well, I just waited around. It was really Tiger who went through all the trouble to find you. Okay, you two little lovebirds, sorry to cut into your in on your reunion, but now that you're all together again, it's time for me to take my leave. <laughs> We're not together. <laughs> you're great, kiddo. See you another time. Oh, yeah. See ya. Well, thank you. <laughs> Once again, Ragu disappears in a bout of laughter and a hearty smile, fading away without a trace. I'm so happy Yao came to help me. But of course I also have Kulao and the old man to thank. They did make it possible for me to sneak out after all. But honestly, I was fine. I was just grounded for a few days. I'm kind of worried about how you have extreme your family is about grounding you, though. <coughs> right, huh? There's not really anything I can do to fight back about it. I'm glad you came over to see me, but I still need to get back before they notice I'm gone, though. Couldn't you just run away? That'd be like cutting off all ties and burning my bridges with them. But I still can spend some time with you before I have to be back. Will you go on a date with me? Now? But Tiger's not even back yet. We don't have much time before I have to get back. Please, Liao. Uh, how? Tiger's not going to like this. Ah, well, what the heck. Uh -huh. I'd be happy to stay with you a little while for a little while before you go back. Thank you, thank you, Liao. Let's not waste a single second. Senpai takes hold of my hand, dragging me away from the park with him. Senpai, where are we going? There's this nice place not far from here. I've always wanted to show you. Really? I thought shopping was the only thing you cared about. As much as I like shopping, that's not what I want right now. I want to take you somewhere special. I guess you're right. Senpai tightens his hand around mine as he leads me away from the main streets and down some small village path. He's skipping along, humming to himself, brimming with joy, clearly loving every minute of us being together. It's hard to imagine he'd been held like a prisoner in his own home. Falling into my world. Seeing Senpai so happy, I can't help but smile. Whenever we're together, it's always been somewhere busy full of other people, but here, walking hand in hand down this quiet road, it feels so nice just to be with him. My thoughts dilute away as a light patter of cool rain hits my skin. Oh, it's starting to rain. Should we find something to stand under? Come on, it's just a drizzle. Let's keep going. He wasn't phased in the slightest. It was a very light rain, actually more like a wet fog, covering everything around us in grey. Sometimes it's kind of nice to just walk around in the rain. You really can't feel the cold, can't you, Senpai? You're not even wearing a jacket. There's no way I could catch a cold. After all, I get all warm when I'm around you, Liao. Really, I, I have nothing to do with that. I knew he was just joking around, but I still felt embarrassed. Hey, it's up ahead. This way, come on.
Without saying another word, Senpai runs off down some street. I follow him, trying to, trying to catch up. Yeah, look! Hey, hey watch out! What? Yikes! Well, oh boy! Yo, yo, oh, that's yo. I'm so so sorry. I anyone. Ooh. I'm kind of afraid to click because I don't know if it's a cutscene or what it is. I'll take some coffee while. Yeah, oh, come on. It's time to get up, sleepyhead. Don't get lazy just because midterms are over. It's boring when you're asleep. Sen senpai? Yep, right here. But did you forget me? Are you really that sleepy? Senpai, how did we get back here? Where else would we be? We've been living together for a month now. Uh, are you saying you don't want me to be here? We're living together? Man, you really did oversleep. Snap out of it. It's me, your boyfriend. But... The folding table in the corner is still full of his stuff, as if we were still living together. But where are Leopard and my guardian tiger? I look at the bookcase, but Tiger's statue is nowhere to be seen. Where is guardian tiger? Guardian tiger? You mean me? I mean, my family's guardian tiger. Yeah, what are you saying? I'm your family's guardian tiger. Huh? But I'm your family's guardian tiger. I used to be a Yaguai, but the, but Goddess Masu summoned me a long time ago. How could you forget that? My family's guardian tiger? Aren't you the leopard cat that possessed Yan Suchi's body? I only borrowed his body to be more helpful to you. How did you forget about that? Did you get sick last night or something? Senpai holds his paw against my forehead. Mm, you don't seem to have a fever. You Playing a joke with me or something? Um, I'm not. Well, it doesn't matter. Even if Yao has amnesia, I'll still be here to look after him. He has nothing to worry about. But if you're really sick, you should get some more rest. Oh! Well, hold on. Ugh. Senpai climbs into my bed and sits up against the wall. He then he has me rest his head on his lap. Can I... Oh yes, hide you. I forget that I need to press a, an actual button. Other other visual novels had it as a as a key prompt. Uh, print screen. There we go. A new thumbnail. I'm using his knees as a pillow? <laughs> this way I can give you some of my chi. Senpai rests his palm against my forehead. I love the feeling of his fuzzy paws. He starts to hum a soft tune. I still don't quite get it, but the confusion in my head is slowly melting away. I close my eyes, beginning to fall asleep to the feeling of his warm touch and the sound of his soft melody. Oh, so that was uh, an end of sorts. Well, so that's Leopard Cat's ending. So what I think is the triggering event is to get it's the point where you are asked about who you who you want to talk uh, romance with. That that is really the um, the uh, the choice that matters in this scenario. Um, now, if this had been a linear story, I would just have ended it here and be like, eh, you know what, you can look that up for for yourself. But. Obviously, it's not. 
this this ending definitely left me with more questions than answers. So wait, is this Hmm. I think what might be is that you if the, I'm completely wrong about this, then there are three different endings to each character. I, do, I kind of doubt it. But... Hmm. Anyway, that's it for this episode. In the next one, I will have started a new story, and uh, we shall try and go for Guardian Tiger after that. But until then, until then, take care.